Hi everyone, my name is George, I'm an amateur astrophotographer and in this video I'm going to share with you my observation of a new supernova discovered just a couple of days ago in the M101 galaxy, also known as the Pinwheel galaxy. If you find this video interesting or helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, your support is always appreciated, guys. So a supernova is essentially an explosion of a star that occurs at the end of its life. This event is so powerful that it can outshine an entire galaxy, making supernovae among the most energetic events in the universe. This particular supernova, named 2023IXF, is classified as a type 2 supernova. This means that it originated from a massive star with at least 8 times the mass of our Sun or even bigger. It was discovered by Japanese amateur astronomer Koichi Itagaki on the evening of May 19th. At the time of the discovery, the brightness of the supernova was plus 14.9 magnitude. If you are familiar with the magnitude system in astronomy, uh, lower numbers indicate greater brightness, with the negative numbers signifying exceptionally uh, bright objects. So a magnitude of plus 14.9 is quite dim, but given the supernova's increasing brightness, it's expected to become brighter over time. Okay, so it's almost 2 a.m. of Monday, May 22nd, and currently my telescope is pointed at the Pinwheel Galaxy, capturing this uh, newly discovered supernova star. Uh, I'm controlling my telescope remotely from indoors using the TM Viewer app. And on the screen you can see the Nina software displaying the uh, latest picture of the galaxy which I snapped just a few, just like a few seconds ago. This is the galaxy M101 right at the center of the frame and um, the supernova appears as the really bright star right here on the screen. So right here this star is a supernova 2023 IXF. Although the supernova appears as a star, you gotta keep in mind that uh, we're looking at the galaxy that's located approximately 21 million light years away and this bright star, the supernova located in this galaxy. It's like imagine how incredibly bright the star explosion must be if we can observe this star that's located far away in the galaxy. I mean, this is just mind-blowing. Okay, now let's actually look how the Pinwheel galaxy appeared before the supernova discovery. So on the screen you can see a single exposure that I got in March, earlier this year, and uh, this one is a picture that I got just a few minutes ago. Uh, we can see this bright star is a supernova, and this one is an image from March, this one is an image that I got today. And as you can see, this supernova is really, really bright, It's I think it's even brighter than the galaxy core that we can see right here. Tonight I'm using Skywatcher 150 PTS as my main imaging telescope together with the ZWO2600 MC Pro one-shot color camera and I will put the rest of the details of my gear in the description to this video. Observing the supernova is an amazing experience, but it's also time sensitive. The brightening stage when a supernova becomes increasingly luminous typically lasts around one to two weeks. It then reaches peak brightness, which can be maintained for several days or a couple of weeks. After the peak, the supernova begins to fade, and the rate of fading can be relatively slow over the course of several months. Given the fact that this supernova was discovered on May 19th, and so far it's continually brightening, the next couple of weeks might be the great opportunity to observe this supernova. And if you're gonna have some clear skies, don't miss this one, guys. So talking about tonight's session, based on the sequencer in the Nina software, I've already collected like three hours worth of exposure time, and afterward I will process these images. Most likely I will blend the images that I'm getting tonight with images that I captured earlier in March and April, and this should provide me with a more detailed image of the Pinwheel galaxy along with uh, the supernova that we discovered a couple of days ago. Alright guys, so that's the same Monday. Right now I'm processing images of the Pinwheel galaxy with the supernova in it, and while waiting for the pics inside to process the data, I just found a really interesting observation of this supernova that was made a day before the official discovery date. So the supernova was discovered on May 19th, and the images that I'm about to show you, they were captured on May 18th by a Russian amateur astronomer named Nikolai Potapov. 
So he was capturing the Pinball Galaxy on May 18th using uh, Skywatcher 80D telescope and the DSLR camera, Canon T3i, and on 5-minute exposures uh, that you can see right now on the screen, the supernova appears as a really dim object. And as you can see, it appears and then it disappears and appears again. So basically this guy captured uh, the beginning of the star explosion that happened in this galaxy approximately 21 million years ago. And this is awesome, the fact that we can see the beginning of the star explosion. And uh, this guy's really lucky that he was able to get these images. So witnessing a burst of a supernova is a rare and precious event. And I'm really happy to share this one with you guys. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, then I have the final picture of the Pinwheel Galaxy together with the newly discovered supernova in it. I hope to see you in future videos and until then, clear skies.